Alright guys, so to just give you a little backdrop of these video clips you're going to see, um, we had a winter storm overnight, um, pretty deep, 10 to 15 centimeters. We had a snow warning here in Prince George and I decided to take the Model 3 all-wheel drive long range out into that snow and show you guys what it's capable of doing. And I think, at least some of you, I know I was, you'll be surprised at what this vehicle is capable of doing in very deep snow. Um, so keep your eyes peeled and watch these video clips. Alright guys, guys, just to give some perspective of winter in Prince George, I just shoveled this real quick, but uh, we have a real snowstorm. It's super windy. All of this was clear. Just to give an idea of how deep this is. Right? I'll be driving the Tesla in this today just to show how it handles in blizzard conditions. This is just the blizzard just starting. What do we have here? What? This is all clear. There was no snow here yesterday. Snowmageddon. And time to use this on this. Now, this is really the first time taking the Tesla Model 3 all-wheel drive in what I would call like a real snow event for me. Pretty deep snow here. I would not take my Honda Accord in weather like this. It would probably get stuck. It has snow tires studded. This Tesla Model 3 has the Tesla rims and snow tires and we're going to try it out in this weather and see how it handles. Now, all-wheel drive, snow tires, no studs or anything. Let's see what happens, right? We're just... Hmm, I have to say, it handles pretty good. Look at this snow. It's pretty deep here. Pretty deep snow. Yes, very And it's, it seems to be handling quite well. Let's see if we get stuck in any of these side streets. There's a reason why I'm trying this before picking up the girls from school because I don't want to get stuck and I'd take the truck if the car can't handle it and I don't really know if the car can handle it or not so so far so good I'm gonna get past that super deep spot so I can get into my lane but I have to say I'm feeling pretty good with how this all-wheel drive Model 3 is how it's driving in this deep snow I mean it's really doing a good job I mean as it stands right now I have no no fears picking up the girls in this look at this like we are the snow pile check it out handles really well I mean obviously a little bit more slippery because <laughs> we are uh, pretty deep snow here but you guys take a look at this so once again, this is the all-wheel drive version, long range. Uh, turn off the windshield wipers for now. Um, and it just seems to really be doing a good job. Let's turn down some sort of more remote side streets here where it gets really deep. Snowplow has not been here at all today. We had a big snow dump, but uh, turn that back on. I mean, look at this snow. It's a good foot, foot and a half, two feet, I don't know, it's pretty deep here. I would never take my Honda Accord down deep snow like this. It's just, I'd be afraid I would get stuck. I mean, it's front wheel drive, but it's not all wheel drive, but I can really feel the torque in these wheels. Um, 
doing a great job just like we are the snow plow guys we we're really plowing through all this stuff so this is quite amazing these tracks here they're made by trucks these are not made by cars just so you know so what happens when I don't use momentum I'm gonna get stuck so far so good now I got to go in reverse not a problem. I mean, look at this car. It's like a tank. This car is a tank. Just imagine getting the Cybertruck, guys. Now that's a real tank, but Model 3, all-wheel drive winter time, Canadian winter with a real snow event. Two thumbs up. This thing is probably the best car I've ever driven in deep snow. This this car handles really well. Not only is the Model 3 the safest car I've ever driven, it, it feels safe, it handles well, it warns you. I think in one of my other videos, you know, when pedestrians are there, you can't see them or whatever, it flashes, gives you like a little red signal there. I'm not getting stuck at all here, guys. I mean, this is crazy. Look at this snow. Just look at this snow. You can see the ruts here from other trucks that have driven here. I mean, I live in Prince George. This is Truck Central, right? This is where the resource sector of British Columbia, you got loggers, you got guys working in the oil patch up here. I'm sitting here driving my Model 3 through this snow. No problemo, guys. Look at this. This is just insane. If you had any concerns, about getting a Model 3 in the Canadian winter, how it's going to handle in the snow. Not a problem. Not a problem at all, guys. You can see with your own two eyes how well this car handles in the deep snow. What do you think, Daniel? It's really good. It's really good. Absolutely. That's my son, Daniel. He decided to come along for the ride. He loves the Tesla Model 3. Yes. You know, I've said in some of my other videos, everybody I've taken for a drive in this car just loves it. Well, Mom didn't like it at first. Well, that's a different story. She was afraid. <laughs> didn't want to drive an expensive car. It is an expensive car. But overall, over the years, when you factor in, you don't pay for gas, it's electricity. Assuming electricity doesn't go up to gas prices, this car will pay for itself, you know, 10 to 15 years max. Probably before that, but I'll be conservative and say within that period of time, it really should. Barring we don't have some major service events through maintenance and whatever breakdowns, but look at this, guys. Look at this deep snow. This is the kind of stuff I'd be doing with my F-150. I just, I just have such confidence after driving back there this all-wheel drive is such a great job you know I've heard of friends who have Subarus with the all-wheel drive they they say those things are tanks well model 3 with the all-wheel drive with the winter tires look at this the front camera is blocked with snow guys we got so much snow here probably the side cameras maybe check this out look how deep the snow is here and by the way, Elon, fix this. Next software update, fix this. Uh, like, why why are the windshield wipers going here? Oh, my my bad. It's on auto. Hopefully it shuts up. It's even worse now. I put it on auto. What's that? Look at this. Am I going to get stuck here? No, I'm not going to get stuck here. I'm a snowplow. Right? So, getting this car stuck, okay, you can't take it in the mud, right guys? You cannot take it in the mud, but I'll tell you what, you can take it in the snow. If the snow is like super deep, yeah, it's not going to stop you from getting belly up, but I have a feeling here, I have a theory guys, because of the weight, the weight of this car, with some good snow tires that I have on, with the all-wheel drive, I mean, this car feels like it's unstoppable in the snow. Let's turn this off because guess what guys? This automatic windshield wiper thing is not working for me. Should have shut off long ago.
All right, we got somebody behind us. I'm just gonna pick up the case a bit here. They have like an SUV. Probably looking at us like saying, what are you doing with your Tesla driving down these roads? And I'm like, dude, I'm plowing your roads with my Tesla. I'm plowing your roads. Okay, maybe I'm not plowing your roads, but you get the point. Really good handling in the snow. Um, if you had any doubts, guys, Model 3 is good for medium winter snow. That's for sure. Handles really well. The parking sensors may be obstructed. Yeah, this car is covered in snow. I'll have to clear it all off when we get home. No regen. Just a tiny bit. Look at that snow on the hood there. You see, we're a snow plow. Like deep snow to you guys? What do you think? Model 3 is a tank in the snow. A real champ. <laughs> 